Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to film a current obsessions video. Um, because I haven't filmed a favorites video in a long time, um, I just kind of want to get you guys up to date on things I've been obsessed with lately. Um, so first thing I have here is this Malin and Getz lip balm. I got this in my glossy box what was it, last month, and I've been using it every single day, non-stop, I'm obsessed with it. It kind of has this like thick gel-like, almost glossy texture, but it hydrates your lips and looks really nice too. Um, next is the combination I'm wearing right now, and it is this lip liner by Lancome, and it's in the shade Natural Mauve, and I'll try and swatch these for you guys. I know the camera never does anything justice, but there you go. It is like a mauve kind of nude. And then this lipstick by Lancome, which is Pale Lip. And I'll swatch that for you too. And this has definitely become one of my all-time favorite combinations. It's what I have on now. Um, it's really this lipstick is like the perfect nude for me in my opinion. It's more of like a pinky nude, and I'd say it's good for pale skin, um, but you could wear it, I think, if you're a little bit more like a medium to tan skin tone as well. But I absolutely love it, and this lipstick formula is amazing. It has no taste whatsoever, and it's like not matte, but it's not creamy. It's just kind of perfect all around. Another lip product, whoops! Another lip product is by MAC, and it's Cherish, and it's another nude, but it's more of like a brownie beige nude, and I've been loving that as well, as more of like a 90s kind of nude, and I love, love, love it. Um, another product, it's not new to me, but it's something I've been picking up more and more, and it's the Anastasia Brow Duo. Um, I'm in the shade Medium Ash, and... Um, I was really into eyebrow pencils for a while, but now I'm kind of into the more soft and more natural look. So I'm kind of off the pencil kick and back onto the whole powder thing at the moment. Um, another favorite is also by Lancome, and it's their their bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. Excuse me, I couldn't get that out. And this is what it looks like. It's coming up more orangey on camera than it is in person. Um, it's sort of just like a matte bronzer. It's the perfect color for me because I'm so fair. So I honestly, that's, this is like the, one of my, this is the only bronzer I own, honestly. That's not in my kit. This is my own personal bronzer and it's the only one I own um, because I was just never a bronzer person. I'm really fair and I liked being really fair, but this is something that um, I can wear on my, on my own skin and what am I trying to say? Next product, also an oldie but a goodie, is MAC Soft and Gentle. And because I've been wearing that bronzer a lot, I've definitely been wearing that highlighter with it as well. And I have it on today, as you can see. It's, in my opinion, one of the best uh, highlighters ever. Um, next product is not available and I don't know if it's pro store only or if it was just discontinued altogether but it's max taupe blush but I will tell you something I got mine at a cosmetic company outlet and I have seen it there multiple times at different cosmetic company outlets so if you live near one maybe check it out if you want to pick it up or maybe check eBay I mean I just wanted to kind of you know, I hate showing you guys things that are discontinued and not available, but at the same time, I'm just being honest, and that's what I've been loving lately. Um, last but certainly not least is my Amore Pacific Cushion Compact. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know for the past few months I've been using nothing but this, and I love it. <sighs> it is a cushion, just as the name would lead you to believe. It looks so dark in the packaging, but the actual product is not very dark. It smells amazing. It looks dewy and fresh and amazing. It, even if you're breakout prone, it will like heal your pimples. There's like green tea and aloe in it. SPF 50 plus plus plus, you know, just all that good stuff. I just can't rave about it enough. It's awesome. It's $60 
but you get a refill in the package as well. So you're really getting two foundations. So it's really $30, which is pretty standard. So yeah, these are my favorites. I hope you guys um, liked this video and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below and let me know what you guys have been loving lately. See you next time. Peace out.